Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Welcome to episode number 16 in my series called One Handgun, One Shotgun, and One Rifle. The handgun that I'm featuring today is a Steyr M9A1. This one has an OD green frame to it. But it's a compact size with a four inch barrel, magazines that hold 17 rounds. It has a plus two base plate on there. And what makes the Steyr models interesting is that they have trapezoidal sights. So it has a basically a triangle there, angled lines in the rear. You fill in that triangle with these angled lines and it is very accurate. A trigger that I am measuring under five pounds. It's got a very nice trigger pull. People who own these Steyrs, they love them. The problem is they're hard to find. They're, they're not out and available as much as we'd like to see. And then when they are available, they get bought up pretty quickly. But here we are, let's take a few shots and then we'll check out the ejection because that's one of the biggest complaints about Steyrs is the erratic ejection. So we'll take a few shots here. I'm gonna align right in there the The sight picture is really something. They say it's a learning curve, but I shoot it pretty well right out of the, right when I first learned about it, and it's, uh, it's pretty cool. All right, I have seven rounds loaded up. Let's go ahead and check out the ejection. All right, Steyr M9A1. Now let's get to that shotgun. The shotgun that I'm featuring is a TriStar Cobra 3 Marine model. Look at that finish. That's the Marine finish. It should withstand all the elements, resist all the rusting and pitting that we have seen with shotguns. It's got a synthetic stock and four end, 18 and a half inch barrel. It will accept three inch loads, five loads in the magazine tube, and a pick rail. It's got a cross bolt safety there, loading gate right there. Let's take a few shots because this has something very interesting. It's called a retracting forehead. Let's check out the shooting first. Check out this forehead. It self retracts. It has a spring in there that will allow it to do that. Now, if you don't like that, you can take the spring out and work it like any other pump action shotgun. But when I featured this on um, my range review, I was amazed at how many people just fell in love with this. And one of the greatest advantages here, one of them, is that the MSRP is only $305. So I have to believe the local gun store will sell this for right around $250, $260. But it's a beautiful shotgun. And I'm very happy with it. And I got so many comments when I featured this with a range review. I just had to bring it out in this series. Now let's get to that rifle. The rifle that I'm featuring today is a Diamondback DB15 chambered in 5.56 NATO. It has a Cerakote color of midnight bronze that I think looks beautiful. And what I like about this setup is that Diamondback gives you everything that you would want right in the case. So it came in the case just like this let's roll through it it's got a 16 inch barrel with a 1 by 8 twist a mid-length gas system diamondback flash hider check out that handguard m-lock slots there with the integrated rail there for a front sight a cmc drop-in trigger flat trigger measures at three and a half pounds comes with this magpul k2 grip a little more vertical for comfortable shooting and an acsl stock the optics that I have here is a Vortex Strike Fire and a Vortex 3x Magnifier. Just a beautiful looking and shooting rifle. I'm just going to fire into the berm here so you can check this out and see how nice this beauty shoots. Really love this rifle. Since the time I opened the case, up until now, 
I think Diamondback has a real winner here. Hey, thanks for watching video number 16 in my series called One Handgun, One Shotgun, and One Rifle. Yeah, if you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.